In this video, we're going to highlight the arbitrary pad shapes feature that was introduced with version 6. What this feature essentially allows you to do is to e and extend one of the Eagle's default shapes for the pads or, or a surface mount pad and allow you to make any custom shape you want without incurring a DRC error. So how does this work? So here we have a through hole pad and a surface mount pad. Using the polygon command, these pads can be extended. So in this case, for example, I could do something like this. Now what's going to happen is as long as the surface mount pad or the through hole pad is within the boundaries of the polygon, then Eagle will consider the polygon an extension of the pad. So there won't be any DRC errors generated by the fact that there is a polygon within the library. Now a couple of things to keep in mind with this feature. Number one, if you guys notice, all I've generated is the copper. There's no stop mask, there's no cream or, or stencil uh, information here. So that information has to be manually drawn in simply by switching to the appropriate layer. So in this case it would be T-stop for the top. Again in the library we always assume that we're drawing a component as if it were going to be placed on the top because within the board we can flip it. So there we have our top mask, our stop mask, sorry. And we can add in our stencil information if we wish by using the polygon command. Whoops. Here we are. And complete. Now we have a, a pad that we can insert on a board. It's going to be exposed like we want it to be, and it won't generate any DRC errors. Again, a key point here is that you always have to have either a through hole pad or a surface mount pad, because that is what defines the electrical connectivity of the, of the pad. Without it, you just have a copper polygon. Now, you're not limited just to using the polygon command. You can also use wires on the appropriate layer. As long as the wire goes through the center, or ends at the center, then it's also going to be considered an extension of the pad. Okay, obviously, I've never seen such a use for this type of a, of a single pad, but it's possible now with the arbitrary pad shape feature. And again, we would have to redraw on the T-cream and T-stop layers in order to get that copper to be exposed. Thank you very much for your time.